the foundational piece that I talk about a lot is just identity precedes purpose. And what that really means, and if we use like a military structure as an example, the identity of a general, he has a different purpose because of who he is versus anybody else in the chain of command, their identity is directly, or their purpose is directly related to who they are. So most people, Rick Warren wrote the book, Purpose Driven Life, huge success, like number one seller. Everybody's looking for that thing, but what they do is they try to attach it to a task or a talent. And sometimes your quote unquote purpose is just sucking the life out of you mm. because it's not actually a purpose. It's not something that fills you up and that you can live out of overflow from. It's just something you're good at and it's actually draining the life out of you. So the first thing I teach is who. You have to know what God says about you. You have to know who you are and what Jesus says about you. Finding that biblically, finding scriptures is so, so important. And this is a process that I had to go through when I was at my most broken and dark time in my life. I finally surrendered. I'm like, all right, Lord, what do you say about me? Because what I say about me is not good. What everybody else is saying about me is not good. Like I need to figure this out. And as I started diving in and started going through the scriptures and started finding what God says about me, you just have this explosion inside of you because it's God word. It's God's word. His word transforms everything. So starting with that identity piece, the who, then you have to align your words. So like who and then your words. Start speaking what God says about you over yourself. If you, if I keep saying I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I'm not ready, I'm not smart enough, I don't have this, I'm too this, I'm too that, all I'm doing is speaking poison over my own life. And it's not going to help me get anywhere. But when I take his word, the creative, magnificent power that is in the word of God, and I speak it over myself, then those creative things start happening and things start coming to play. So when I went through this process myself, I was stripped down, fully surrendered, fully broken, all right, Lord, teach me what you say about me. As I'm doing this, I started making out daily confessions every single day. I started out with Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. And it's all those wonderful blessings. You know, you're blessed coming in, you're blessed going out. You're blessed in the field, you're blessed in the city. But I would personalize it. I am blessed coming in. I am blessed going out. You say it every single day because as you speak, you minister to yourself. And at first it was hard. I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to believe it. My heart had a hard time accepting what my mouth was saying. But the more that I ministered to myself by actually speaking it out loud, the more I began to believe it. And the more boldness actually came as I was saying these things. And before you know it, you're just on fire. It's like a Tony Robbins event. You can just do anything, run through walls. But I had to align my words first. And then the what happened. I found out who I was. I fixed my words. And then the what came. I'm able to pray. I'm able to seek God. And he's able to show me this is your purpose. This is your calling. This is your mandate. And now the what is so easy, that purpose is so easy because those foundational pieces are in place. And so for everybody who's struggling, because I every time I talk to guys, I had over 300 people apply for our events last summer. And I ask them, which four areas are you most interested in being mentored in? Is it leadership? Is it purpose? Is it manhood? Or is it identity? And over 50% of that 300 wanted to know more about purpose. And it's just one of those things that just sits inside of us until you feel it. It's just going to be gnawing at you. So to get your purpose, you have to know who you are. Then you got to fix your words so you don't sabotage it. And then that what, then that purpose just comes. It's so easy. You don't have to look for it. You don't have to be just, you know, trying these things and after things after things that will explode inside of you. And you'll just know this is what I'm created to do. Man, what a, uh, what a, a great um, micro course and a, a really unique <laughs> micro course in, in kind of our library here. But uh, I mean, I think it's very apropos for, for today and, and who you are and who God's made you to be. So I mean, I really appreciate you sharing that. And, and well, thank uh, you. That, that, is, that is really, um, I mean, I, I love the, just the whole idea of, it's a, you know, kind of the simple process you're talking about, but it is a very powerful and, and very, I mean, it's a foundational you know, process that, that we need to go through, you know, to, to really find our, our who and our what in the, you know, <laughs> I don't want to go all Dr. Zeus here, but you know, <laughs> the, uh, but the, the whole idea of, of just discovering, you know, when we walk in that purpose that, you know, it's, it's like, you know, you, it's no longer a job. It really mm -hmm. is a calling, you know, and the whole yeah. idea of vocation, you know, the basic root of vocation is, is, is a, in Latin was calling. 
you know, I mean, how, how does that, how does that exist? You know, what, what were you created to do?